Hello everybody, I'm Oliver from FYI Before You Buy with the next Xcode tutorial, but before I do, I just want to show you guys the new banner, and it has the first tutorials, and then our Xcode 1, Juicing, Sand, ATIV Odyssey, and the cash register. Okay, but let's get started with our tutorial, and today it is about timers. And so here's our objects tutorial and straight into the trash with command back. See, this is what I told you. You should for, you should um close it before you put it in the trash cuz it'll get messed up. Okay, let's open up Xcode, create a new project called timers. Again, iPhone class prefix can be blank. And let's create it. Okay, in our main dot storyboard. Again, if you don't know what any of this is, please watch the earlier tutorials. So iPhone, I'm gonna change that to four. Just get that out of our way. And I'm gonna start this tutorial with a little glimpse into the design. I'm going to do a whole tutorial, maybe the next one, on design, but this one, background, I'm just going to do a nice, no, not that one, uh, that, no, oh, they don't have it anymore, but, I'll just do that, okay, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to have a text view, or field, sorry, um, text field, and this is going to say command, or not command, just like random text. Okay, so this is, uh, some people would say it's harder, some people say it's easier. There's a method that you can do all this tutorial in, but it's a little harder. It's like text changes, changed, I mean, it's not really that. And then this is going to say please type text so what this will do it and then we might have like a reset button okay so what's this what this is going to do is right when you text type something into here it puts it in there and when you press reset they both become blank and what we're going to have here um, so I'm going to introduce you to a new object, object, it's called a text field, oh, sorry, it's called a text view, I'm getting those two confused, so basically it's mainly for editing, like so people can edit text, but what I do, I just, you can change the editable feature to no, so now it's, they can't like type in it. And I'm just going to put something like um, green, comma, and then I can do no, green would be high, uh, random, and PayPal. I have no idea why I just did that. Um, and the last one should be calculator. And then what we can do to make a new line, it's not the real way. We can have red, so now it's like a new line. Red is earth. No. Uh, dog, mouse, cat, and pen. So these are just random words just to prove my point. Um... And let's do like yellow, last one. So what it's also going to do is if it detects any of these words, no, actually yellow, that would be too much. If it detects any of these words, it'll change it to the color. If it's not any of those words, then it will just be like black, <laughs> black text in here, and it'll be the same color there. Okay, so let's get started in our assistant view controller. So, changing this to dot .h, have our curly brackets, start with our IB outlet, because 
um, so we actually don't need to define this because it's not being used. But IB Outlet, and it's a UI text field, and let's just call it random text. Oh. And then IB Outlet, UI label, and this is display text. And then we have a action in action. Which is reset pressed. And then random text. Display text. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is so I don't have to keep going back and forth. I just copied that. I'm going to open up text edit. New document. And just put that in there just so I can see it a lot of times I'll have to use text edit if I have like a bunch of the same kinds of buttons just with different names I can use the replace feature and it just helps so in the dot m what we're going to say um so Oh yes, we have to set up the NS timer in here. NS timer. And this will be auto update. Okay. So in the view did load, we're going to say auto update, which is the name of our timer. Um clarify that it's an NS timer. And then schedule a timer with interval ends the second one. So interval, so that's how many seconds it waits, like the interval. And we're just going to do that. So that's basically instant. Target is always the self. Selector, so a selector is like a method. So I'm going to create a method called auto update called. And so in our selector, we say at selector and then auto update called user info info null and we want it to repeat. OK, so that'll make it work. And then what we do in here is we say, wait, what are our names again? OK, random text dot or sorry display text dot text equals random text dot text so this is basically saying set the label to the labels text property to the random text uh, text field property um, okay so this has been part one of the tutorial we need two maybe three parts just because of a reason I, it can't be more than 15 minutes and it, this will just split it in half